welcome to C10 Fall Revival. guys, C10 Fall Revival 2020 in Oakboro, North Carolina. Huge thanks to C10 Club North Carolina and Lou and Casey and Benny, all the guys who put this show on. It's obviously going to be killer. It's still early in the morning, but a lot of cool trucks rolling in. So we'll show you some more here in a second. What's up, man? What's up, brother? Tell me about the 78. Well, before that, I gotta say, I should probably be calling you Barner for life. <laughs> what does that even mean? Well, we're from Alabama, and I'm Auburn fans, and they, the, the Alabama guy, people call us Barner, so yeah. I've been Barner for life. Barner Lou, for life. Lou, the first time I met Lou, he's like, hey, Josh Barner. I was like, that's not my last name. <laughs> and so even today, he still he still talks about, hey, yeah. Josh Barner. I said, just to mess with me. Just yeah. Say, yeah, but it's Josh, Josh Mason. Mason, Mason. Yeah. yeah. Barner for life is just the Instagram thing I've had for a few years. That's where it's at. That's what everybody knows, man. Yeah. Especially with a truck. So I might, as well, I know when I might as well just leave it. Yeah, when Rick says, uh, you know, Josh, I'm like, who, Barner for life? He's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so. All right, man. Well, we're here to talk about your awesome truck. Yep. This thing's inside because it is totally primo. So tell us about it, man. What's the story on it? Uh, well, it started out as a project I bought from a guy that was unfinished. I mean, when I bought it, it had no front clip, no interior, nothing. Yeah. It was like a... I call it a puzzle out the box. Yeah. So we bought it in October, end of October, and thrashed on it with family and friends and debuted at Southeast Truck Nationals in July. Yeah. And ever since then it's been like my wife said, we're along for the ride. That's we, right, we, man. I mean I'm here with you, so That's we're along right. for the ride. So, That's right. Uh, so you started putting this thing together in October of twenty nineteen. Yep. And then you debuted it in, in July, July yep. in Southeastern Truck yes, National. Sir. Man, let's start at the bottom. Tell me about suspension, tell uh, me about wheels and tires. Up front it's got Scott's hot rods, the independent front suspension yep. with all in American coilover in the rear. It's got the uh, four, a triangle four link with Q81 coilovers on yeah. the rear. Wheelwood four wheel disc brakes all around from Little Shop yeah, Manufacturing. Because I'm, yeah. I Big deliver. Shout out to Skyler. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I drive a truck and I, I deliver in Lawrenceburg every day. I'm in Lawrenceburg every day, oh, so okay. I go by there, you know, pretty regular. So yeah. they, they took care of me. As far as the wheels, they're from Hot Rod by Boyd. So yeah. I called Chris Coddington and wanted, knew which wheel I wanted, and I had my painter paint them to match. You know, obviously you've got the, the paint detail in the yep. wheels, you've got it in the trim, yep. and it's just a, a really complete it's, package. I, I like to be different. I want yeah, it to be it's different. It's definitely different. And it's, it's paying off. So, yeah. uh, well, we, I would say, though, that, that even that paint detail ties perfectly into yep. what you got going on in the interior. Yep. So tell me what's going on there. Uh, the interior was with a pecan brown color and plaid. Um, and it matches this light blue, baby blue all over to match the exterior. It flows together. Yeah, it flows say. really that's, well. That's what I wanted. Yeah, so I would agree with that. We've got, you know, really smooth sheet metal. Awesome attention to detail on the outside. Great wheel and tire package. Suspension is dialed. Yep. Tell me about the drive chain. I drive think you got something a little different under there than yeah. what folks might expect. It's small block 350 with a Holly Sniper. Uh, got a Borg Warner T56, uh, six-speed transmission in it. Uh, I'm running 373 gears now. I'm fixing to swap over to 456. Whoa. The 376. 73s, I really can't use six right now. I really? Mean, at 70 mile an hour, fifth gear, it's only 2200 RPM. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm also, I got 456 gears sitting at home waiting to, to go in it. Yeah. And I just ain't got there yet. So. Well, it's a killer, killer truck. I'm, I'm in love with it, man. I love the color. I love the two tone. Obviously, love the trim. What gets everybody, shocks everybody, is this truck's a 78. It was painted back in the late 80s. And that's. Oh, the that's paint, a, a paint yeah, job from the late the 80s? 80s? Yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. if, you, if you look close, there's dents and nicks everywhere. I mean, this truck wasn't supposed to be this nice. I, I wasn't expecting it. So <laughs> I, I was wanting some patina. Yeah. It, it had mildew and dirt where it sat in this shop for I don't know how long before I got it. And uh, my buddy that's, he owns his own detail shop. We got it put together. He took it home, 
sent me a video two days later. I was like, dang, you already wet, wet sand it? It's shiny. So I just pressure washed it. Wow. So we just clay barred it. Yeah. And that's it. Man. So I'm, it, it shines enough. I'm happy. With oh, it. yeah. So it turned out. I didn't want nothing real perfect, but. Well, it's like you say, you want to be able to drive exactly. it too. You want to be able to, you know, trailer and take it anywhere exactly. you want to go and not really have to worry. I mean, yeah. you got to worry about it a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, if somebody leans up against it, it's not the end of exactly. the world. Exactly. I'm not worried about yeah. it. I mean, I, it didn't have no trim or nothing on it when I bought it. Yeah. I bought some cheap trim hoping it wasn't going to fit right. And it actually fit pretty good. So <laughs> I'm pretty Isn't that funny how that works yeah, exactly. out? Exactly. Well, so, Josh, thanks for your time, man. It, Robbie, I love man. it. It's thanks, awesome. Sir. So I'm here with Garrett and Chloe Bug, and we are talking about your 78 K30. Man, tell us about this truck. Uh, so this truck, I, I grew up in this truck. This was a brush truck at our fire department, uh, Rowan Iredell Fire Department, uh, Cleveland, North Carolina, about an hour north of Charlotte. Served as a brush truck there for about 30 years. We retired it in 2008. Uh, when we retired it, I went ahead and bought it. Been farm truck around ever since. Still got the original motor in it. Uh, it's got about 80,000 miles. Which would be a 454? Uh, it's actually a 350. No kidding. It's so a factory with a 350. Yeah. So it's 350, you got the four speed, yeah. uh, 205 transfer case, new heads, put a little cam in it, but uh, bottom end's all original. That's awesome. My dad was a firefighter there, my grandfather was, so I just so grew cool. up around it, grew up around this truck. Yeah, well that's really cool. Well, you mentioned the DOT thing, which made me think, hey, this truck was probably yellow or maybe it's yep. been repainted at one point in time. It was is yellow that, before. Is that the case? Yep, it was, yeah. it was yellow. It served as a DOT truck, uh, Asheville, North Carolina for a few years. <laughs> Chloe, you're so cute. She's ready to go home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, this is her truck. This yeah. will be her truck one day. Very cool. Well, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. That's really all I wanted. I just wanted awesome. to, uh, I saw it from across the parking lot and thought, man, this thing's way too cool. Great, I got to come check it out. So thanks so much for talking to me. Thank you. Chloe, have fun, okay? Tell you ready bye. to go home. Bye. bye. <laughs> See you, buddy. Appreciate Thanks, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this coverage of C10 Fall Revival. We have had an absolute blast here. I think the tally was somewhere in that 700 mark. Just to give you an idea as to how much this show has grown in two years. Last year was the first year, had 230 something trucks. This year, almost 700. 
man, that is so cool. Right here in North Carolina, right here with a bunch of awesome dudes putting this show together. Casey, Lou, Benny, obviously big thanks to Smith Concrete. Uh, I know they have a different name now, but I'm gonna go with Smith Concrete now. So big thanks to Cody for just allowing us to come out here and do this on his property. And man, we're gonna be back next year. Hope you guys will join us next year for 2021 C10 Fall Revival. Appreciate you tuning in to United by Trucks. We'll catch you next time. Just let it roll. Keep rolling, keep rolling. About right there. Oh yeah. There we go. Cue the music. Music.